Hi, this is Manoj. Today I am going to show you how to use gradient split applications. So in your Visual Studio you have three basic templates. Uh, one is a blank template, grid template and the other is split template. Okay, so blank template is used for customized apps whereas gradient split uh, apps are used for information kind of apps. Suppose you want to uh, make a RSS feed for IMDB where you want to see in a grid format. So you can use either grid or split applications. In all the items are grouped uh, in, gr in a grid and also in split application. I'll show you how to edit your grid and split application which is given by default. I'm not going to show you how to write RSS feeds for your grid and split but rather I'll just show you how to edit the static data in this block. Okay. So let us go to our Visual Studio. Uh, I'm opening a grid app. So this is your grid app. I haven't changed anything. So when you open your Solution Explorer, so here on the right side you can see the Solution Explorer where in which you'll find something called Data Model Folder. So in Data Model Folder you have something called Sample Data Source.cs. So just go to that uh, Sample Data Source.cs file. So you'll find some content like this okay you'll find something I'll just maximize it for you or let it be okay so you have something called string item data where item data is storing the entire string I'll also tell you the format for it and how to change so here you'll find the group uh, details page, group 1, uh, group title, uh, group subtitle, etc. And you'll find the items in that grid. I'll show you uh, uh, how the output looks if you're not changing anything. So you can see in a form of grid. Okay. You can see in a grid. So this is image. This is the item title. This is the subtitle. Here is the group title. So where you'll get the group description here and also the item description here. If you want to change to uh, next title image or something, you, you have flip view. You can just always go to the next by directly clicking the right arrow or the left arrow on the screen. Okay. So let's see uh, how to edit this template which is given by default. So on the left hand side in the solution explorer, you have one more folder called assets. Okay. So these are the images which you have seen uh, on on the grid template. Okay. So let me add some uh, images from my local disk. You can always uh, you can go to add in the assets existing items since the image is already existing in your desktop. So I'm going to select three images. Okay, uh, I'll add one more image. Okay, so uh, I'll show you how to add this thing. Suppose the uh, first group should be my Microsoft. Okay, so I'll keep as Microsoft. Okay, this is the group image, or oh, a group title, subtitle. I'll keep Microsoft is awesome. Okay. So here I'll keep my own image which is ms.png. Don't forget to keep this extension otherwise you can't see the image. So it is ms right? ms. Okay. Uh, group uh, description can be anything. Don't forget to keep all these things in a double quotation since it is a string. Uh, this is the Microsoft group description. Okay. So I have some items. So suppose say I want to keep it as Windows 8. I'll keep it as awesome OS. If you don't want any uh, subtitle, you can just leave it like this. Otherwise, uh, please do uh, do not delete the whole string. Either you should keep an L string or keep something uh, in that string. 
awesome OS uh, let this be 1.png which I have added okay so the item description I want to change this is the Windows 8 item description okay so then what is this content item okay so whatever you are saying here is your item content so you have two choices for this either copy I'm just copying it okay so what I'll do is I'll just delete everything it's showing error because I have it twice so I'll item content one I'll just keep it okay I'll also keep it here item content one so here it has nothing so what is this zeros and ones I'll explain you everything uh, what are all those things okay so if you are writing zero the zero it, uh, suppose this this is the first line okay this is the first line is the first line so I want to keep one more line so what I'll do what I'll do is this uh, is representing this okay so what if I want to keep one more then uh, what I'll do is I'll keep slash in here okay I'll keep one zero is having this and if I want to keep one more this is the second line okay so I'll keep one more slash in so that you can see the spaces so in the zero uh, index you have this and then in the first index you have this let's see how it is coming so I have changed it for item description one okay so here you are getting uh, when I click on the group you can see the group image you can see this this is the Microsoft group description you can see the Windows 8 uh, group disk item description once I click it or always I can just uh, directly click it from here okay so this is awesome okay this is the first line which I'm getting if you can see this is the second line okay so I think now you understood how to change it okay so the other way of changing the content instead of keeping all these strings is I'll show in group 2 so let us go to group 2 let this be Android I don't want to keep any title for this so I am also showing you how to keep null strings so this will be 2.png which is for Android okay uh, okay let this be for some item so that I can show this content also so this can be Android one so I'm not going to keep any subtitle so let this be 2.png so uh, I'm leaving the description as it is but I want to change this item content okay instead of keep uh, writing something on the top uh, which you have done like this I'm sorry where it is yeah item content one you can always directly come here the group to yeah so what you can this is the line one and if I want to keep some lines I can directly write it slash and slash and this is line 2 okay let's see how it is coming so item title 2 I think uh, we have some problem with the image I think it's jpg yeah it's 2 dot jpg oh yeah I have said you it is important to remember all these things okay oh. 
yeah we have kept it in the group 2 right group 2 so this line 1 this line 2 and there is no item a subtitle since I have kept a null string okay so now you understood how to uh, do it for grid applications if you want to do it for uh, also split uh, you will find the same folder okay assets you will find and data model you will find so uh, in assets as you have done here you also have to uh, keep the images there also and for da sample data source uh, you will find the same folder and the same file so you can just say uh, do the same changes what you have done here and hope this helps you and uh, please visit my blog my blog is www.writethecode.com it's www okay not write write the code.com okay hope this tutorial helps and for more uh, windows 8 tutorials stay tuned and there are a lot of uh, blogs already i mean uh, blogs already written in writethecode.com please visit thank you